today is Monday, um, December 28th, last week of 2020. And we're all really excited about that. And I decided to do a vlog this week because this is my last week in this studio space. Um, I've been working out of our spare bedroom uh, in our current apartment for six years. I mean, I've always had the business at my house, but uh, this is kind of the room you've come to know and love. My Sailor Moon wall, all of this. But what you don't know about is the absolute nightmare. <laughs> so um, the inventory closet too, I do all of my uh, shipping and stuff from my spare closet. And it's a walk-in closet, it's a big closet, um, but I have officially outgrown this space. So I decided to take the leap and get an office. I ended up finding out, finding this place and I'm really excited about it. Uh, the landlord is fantastic um, and the space is really bright. I have ordered new shelving and I'm really excited and I pick up the keys tomorrow. It's scary. It's exciting. Um, one of the other reasons I wanted to get a space outside of the home um, was I wanted to have someone help me because if this holiday season taught me anything, I mean, I, I know I've needed help for at least like two or three years. And I used to have people who would process pins for me, um, card them, bag them, all that stuff. And it was great. Um, but I kind of took everything else over for a while again. And especially with the pandemic, I need help. I need help shipping. I need help packaging and QAing product. Um, but like, I already didn't want people that I don't know in my house. Well, not that I don't know, but like, I just don't want people in my house. <laughs> I'm an introvert. I don't want to deal with it. Um, and having a space outside of my home makes it safer for the pandemic because we can socially distance, mask up, all that stuff, um, and still get work done. <laughs> this week, I am going to chronicle my adventures in cleaning up this stuff, deciding what to bring with me to the new space, um, and picking up my keys and starting to move everything over. Um, I think the only extra thing I need to do this week is get internet. <laughs> so I'm going to email them now, make sure I can get internet and Wi-Fi. But yeah, I'm just going to be cleaning up here, picking out stuff to bring, and then I'll go pick up the keys tomorrow. Yeah, I, I set my shop to say that I wasn't shipping this week. Um, forgot to do that on Etsy. So I will be packing some Etsy orders today. And then I'm just going to spend the rest of the day cleaning up, trying to do some customer service, answer some emails that I got over the weekend. And yeah, so let's have fun, hopefully. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so. Orders are done. Very last orders ever packed in the closet. And um, I'm going to put on some podcasts and start cleaning this abomination. I just want you to see, there's a giant thing of packing peanuts. This is about half the size <laughs> that it is when you get it. Everything's just has been chucked in here and left forgotten. Well, not forgotten because I have to look at it every day, but it's just like no energy to do anything with it during the holidays. It was like, I just have to get in. I have to get my product done. I have to get it shipped. So now that I have a little bit of time, we're going to clean it up. So yeah, clean up time. People die and then they're like, well, then I'm sorry. Exactly right. Um, 
messaged me on Instagram. We were friends in college and she said she found a ton of her Polly Pockets. So this is the new, this is the new like birthday edition Polly Pocket that came out. I got that one at Toy Joy. So cute. Um, but she sent me all of her childhood Polly Pockets. I had a couple of them already from my own childhood. Clearly it's why we're friends. Um, but these will be staying here instead of going to the new office because my son loves them. They are so much fun. He gets tons of like little pretend play out of them and it's so exciting. Like I would love to go put them on display, but he just loves them so much. So they will stay here. <laughs> I'm going in to get my keys. I'm so excited. Okay, it's Tuesday. I'm walking into the building. I'm getting my keys. Okay, bye. Okay, keys, yay. So Andy and I filled up the cars because you know picking up the keys means that you can get into the space, right? This is the first time I've ever had a space, so I don't really know. So maybe I should have asked uh, to begin with. But we got there and she still needed to have the carpets cleaned and the locks changed from the last tenant. So we had to go back and uh, put everything back in the garage and just kind of wait. Okay, so since I couldn't get in the space today, I am just going to keep on packing. So not everything is coming with me to the office. I think the couch is going to stay here. Most of the stuffed animals, a lot of the decor is going to stay here for now. And I'll see if there's a place for it. I definitely want to decorate the new space, but I want to make it I don't know, I want to use the space as efficiently as possible. Like a lot of this stuff is like stuff from my childhood and things that will be fun to keep at home. Plus, I don't I don't want to take the time to <laughs> take it all down. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn on the Bald and the Beautiful podcast with Trixie Mattel and Katya Zamalajkova. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be packing stuff. Not the most interesting vlog ever, but, I mean, hang out. I'm not in my office yet so this uh, vlog might be pretty uninteresting <laughs> uh, hopefully by Friday at least because that's the first um, you'll get to see the actual inside of the space so now I'm still just clearing stuff off picking out what I want to bring no makeup third day hair less life it's raining outside that's why the overhead light is on it's like really raining right now in Austin. So I am listening to Phoebe Robinson's podcast, Black Frasier, and just kind of trying to get stuff done. I don't know. It's this week is so weird because it's not what I expected and I have so much to do. I like don't know where to start, you know? So I'm just going to be cleaning up. I won't bring you along for it. It's super boring. Yeah. Okay. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> you guys, it's Thursday. 
I have a little pimple patch on. I'm looking right here because I don't know where to look. Um, and I just got an email from my landlady that the office is ready. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So it's later in the afternoon, but I think I have time to go by and like drop off the shelves that I got and just kind of be in the space for a minute, which is like really all I want. <laughs> I just want to walk in the flipping door. <laughs> so I think we should go. We're here. Just a little, you gonna wave? <laughs> look, it's raining really bad. This is making me dizzy. I can't look at this. It's like, pouring down rain and we didn't want to move giant shelving in today, but there's two little rooms. <laughs> I like my little window. got all of the inventory shelving up and I'm super excited look how much room I'm gonna be able to stack things like double triple and then I have all that room above and then I'm gonna have like inventory or like a fulfillment section there and then I've got all this wall and the whole office back here <laughs> so I'm in the office I don't know why I'm being quiet, but I popped over here really quick. It's Sunday, by the way. <laughs> um, I tried to get as many of the orders as I could. I said that I would start shipping on January 2nd, and that was probably a terrible idea um, because the post office closes really early where I am. So I didn't get a ton done yesterday, but I decided to get as much as I could done. And now I am dropping off boxes of things <laughs> because I'm going to have to spend most of the day tomorrow shipping from old studio because I don't have internets coming in this week sometime I had to check my email um, and all the inventory is still there so all the open orders are going to have to be done and then um, I'll probably rally for a couple of days bring everything over here and then get it all set up once internet is here so um that's the plan look how much stuff i can fit i think i'm gonna go back i have tons of these plastic bins from way back when so i think i'm going to stick with those um i wish the ones where you could just reach in and grab were cheaper but i just can't justify paying like four to ten dollars at the container store or like on Amazon to get new ones to fill this entire thing up <laughs> when these are only one dollar and really like how much of a hardship is pulling that out and putting it back you know oh yeah and I put all my seconds down here um Libby um of Lux Cups showed me this trick um don't package your seconds pins stick them in a little bin like this and you can keep them all separate. I have lots of little dividers in there. And uh, yeah, these are a bunch that are junk. I gotta figure out what to do with those because I will not sell them. Um, but all of this is all of my seconds and it used to take up so much space. So I love these. It is 
Tuesday. <laughs> I had to think about it. Um, I was woken up by our upstairs neighbor at 5 a.m. And I couldn't go back to sleep because he was being so loud. And what do you do at 5 a.m.? That is so loud. Anyway, I also had some fillings replaced this morning at 7.30. <laughs> so I'm like still a little numb. <laughs> a little drooly. <laughs> I'm putting this on YouTube, you guys. Um, but I have like four more orders to pack and then I'm done and caught up after the holidays. All of yesterday, um, packing orders <laughs> was the entire day. So now is I like I wanted to get it done so all of I like it didn't need to get to my inventory for like at least 24 hours so um that's all done and I can't believe you guys keep buying from my shop it's the best thing ever <laughs> like every time um we had a lot of pin clubs a big thing was pin club stuff came out um on the first so that was like the big bulk of everything um, and pin club subscribers, I don't know if you subscribe to any enamel pin clubs, but if you do, you are amazing. Um, if you have the ability to do that, it gives artists such stability month to month. Like I can't even tell you, it's like knowing that you have a certain amount of orders that are going to charge on a certain day means that you know, you have bills paid know you know that you can order more product and keep your shop going and growing and it's just incredible so pin club subscribers mwah, you have my heart <laughs> but the big thing today is getting the inventory out of the closet and onto the shelves in the office Do not judge me by that floor. I know it's a mess and I will vacuum, so I don't want to hear it. Um, but yeah, I've cleared off all of the inventory here. There's a couple rows down here to still do. Um, and then to this side, I have this stuff is staying here. And then I ran out of boxes. So one more row here. And then um, these I'm going to take with me. They have like... Um, uh, backing cards here. Oh, mystery stuff. I think those are seconds. What's in here? Oh, plastic sleeves. I'm going to put the bio plastic sleeves in there. The ones that are compostable, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put another tabletop on these so I can have two desks, kind of like the one I have out there, but have two of them. And then coming around, this is the state of things here, which is a hot mess. These are like seconds that I find as I pack that, oh no man, things have been, ooh, excuse me, absolutely bonkers. These are some of my favorite seconds. This one came out with no eyes. This one's missing a little leg, my little skeletonome. She's supposed to have a, a, a gem coming up, but she's just got a little cane. I love how they came out. So and this one's got a little white. I don't know why. I, I just like this so I keep them apart. <laughs> um, but yeah, just more madness and <sighs> we're gonna work it out. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I think I'm at capacity. <laughs> um, how many of you think this is actually going to survive the trip? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, this isn't promising, you guys. 
Mm. Yep, two of them fell out. <laughs> the day moving all my inventory over. I think this is everything. Um, I still have Eda bags. I have a few more like random things, but this is most of it. And it fits all in there. <laughs> and there's, I, I have to put these back, but I'll put those up in a minute. But I just want to say hi. It's Tuesday. This has been a really good, productive day getting in here um I think I might ask them about painting because I think I want to paint one of these walls pink I don't know if they'll let me I wish I could change these rugs I think I'm gonna get like giant rugs like floor size rugs I almost got those floor tiles because we have some at the house but they were like way expensive <laughs> and I don't think they would stay because they have like adhesive on them you know and then I don't want them like scooting around I'd rather get like actual rugs so oh I forgot the I was gonna bring my measuring tape <laughs> and I forgot it but what can you do I'll be back here tomorrow it doesn't matter <laughs> so this is my progress for today there's a lot of stuff that's doubled up um, lots of stuff is smooshed in these, so I'll get one design per box, and I've got more here, and I'm probably going to get some more. They're really a dollar at Target, so, yeah, there's this. I've honestly forgotten what's in these, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Yay! It is Wednesday. Internet comes tomorrow, so the goal today is to get some of the furniture in, and maybe do a curbside Ikea situation and get some of the extra furniture so I can have like, you know, a desk to put my router and modem and everything on. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Wish me luck. It's like rainy this morning, so I'm going to try and get everything in the car and over before it rains. So crossing my fingers. It's supposed to be better this afternoon, but I just want to get this stuff done as fast as possible. So, ooh, oh, there's my hand. I'm a professional woman. <sighs> Meanwhile, hi Turks. He's like, I just want to get in this box. Anyway, okay, bye. Hello. The wind and rain decimated my hair curl. I'll try again another day. But, okay, never mind. This <laughs> is how things are going in the new office space. So let me turn you around. Okay, so we are messing around down there. Those are seconds. I had to get to a couple of things. That's why they're out that far. But yeah, nothing is really super organized yet. Um, I got a few of my boxes in which is nice. Envelopes up here, I'll probably, well, I'm saying I'll keep shipping stuff over here, but I don't know, everything's gonna change. Um, I brought in a few of my Eda bags. I have a bunch more boxes of Eda bags, mostly the pink ones. So I think those are gonna live in here. So the plan now is to do an L-shaped desk here. So that way I can do work over here because I have a couple of computers um, and like an extra monitor and then I can also turn here and do calls and stuff there's neighbors hi um, do calls and things in front of the window so that'll be nice so I can film videos and stuff like that um, and then here is where um, you can see I've got these little guys um, all empty um for photos and then there's this empty space that i'll probably put some shelves in for props and things do you like looking at a blank white wall is this good content i don't think so 
<laughs> anyway, I am gonna take my tired hair <laughs> home. <laughs> um, but it's been a wild day. It's Wednesday. I was just looking at the news about the actual coup <laughs> that's happening in the United States right now. Um, I'm ready for a peaceful transition of power and really happy with Georgia right now. Oh, it's gonna be, it's, it's a crazy day. So I am gonna head out and that is all. Good morning. It is Thursday and I'm waiting for the internet guy to come. I'm so excited. So I brought in another table because I felt bad that he didn't have anywhere to put stuff. So I have one desk in here and I'm going to be busying myself in here um, while he's doing that. So masks on. Mm -hmm. Hi, I did curbside Ikea and I have a lot of stuff to put together in the office. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do it before I have to go home, but let's see how much I can get done. Wish me luck. plan today is um, get everything built today because it's Friday and I'm over it. I'm over it now, you guys. Like, I'm starting to get really frustrated today at, like, it feels like I haven't made any progress. And I know I have. I've done so much this week, but it still feels like I'm behind. Behind who? Behind what? I don't know. That's my own mental stuff. Um, but yeah, I just have to keep reminding myself, like I'm doing this to set a foundation to get more help because doing this by yourself, while it is totally doable and amazingly fun and ridiculously rewarding, um, it's also really flipping hard. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't recommend moving very slowly by yourself <laughs> either. It's been a really long week and um, yeah, I'm just over it. I'm just done. So hopefully I can get this stuff built. Um, I'm going to go back and have lunch with Andy and then come back and spend the rest of the afternoon building this stuff and hopefully getting everything set up and done so I can start Monday fresh. I have some orders I have to get out today. Um, so those are obviously the priority. This is where we are right now. I have ooh, four of these things to build. Those are the things that'll live there in the middle of the floor. And then I have the desks to put up. I got a trash can. <laughs> you wanna see my trash can? It's a big old pink trash can. <laughs> it's a, it's one that you don't have to touch either. So I'm excited about it. It's the little things.
desks all around. Ooh, they didn't have the really cheap ones that were just like stick legs in stock, so I had to get these. But it actually made it really easy to move them around and get them where I needed them to be. So, okay, over here, we've got a little guy playing iPad like a champ. Um, we've got a little bit of a mess here. We ordered torchies. I don't think this is gonna stay here, but I don't hate it. I need to figure out what to do here because that's my modem and router and I'm not just gonna leave them on the floor. I might maybe do like a love seat or something there. I don't know, it's really echoey in here. So I'm also trying to figure out where to put the pin boards because I've got a lot of wall space here. So, um, it's exciting. Potty. Okay, we'll go potty. <laughs> computers in and I think the last big thing I have to bring in is my chair <laughs> and extension cord so yeah I'm gonna go home for lunch we had a late start today because the roads were icy <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna go have some lunch and then come back with a chair and an extension cord and be ready to go so exciting. Good morning. Ooh, there we go. So I think I'm finally going to wrap up <laughs> this video. I don't know how long it's going to be or how entertaining, but I'm excited because I am officially in and working in the office. I really like how the storage is kind of shaping up. I still have a lot of organizing to do and I'm sure I will kind of keep you posted on that. Do separate like videos or blog posts um, about it. I've been thinking about blogging some more. Um, I used to do it a long time ago. I had a DIY blog that I really enjoyed. So um, I thought that might be a good way to put some smaller stuff um, not smaller, but videos are pretty time intensive for me. So I can take a few pictures and explain, you know, my process for organizing or designing or whatever. Um, then I'll do that in blog form. And then obviously I will still have videos. Um, I have some more stuff coming for the photo area. So that's probably going to change, but I love my little desk area and setup and yeah I've been coming here um it's the third week of January so I've been coming just this Monday and Tuesday um into the office having actual days in the office so um it's really exciting and thank you for coming along with me on this little journey I really appreciate it this is a really big step I've resisted doing this for a really long time just because it seemed really big and like I liked being at home I like being around my cats um but it's been a long time coming because I physically cannot do everything by myself and I really haven't been able to do stuff by everything by myself uh for a long long time so I basically have two businesses it's the course business and the shop business and both of those have been getting about half my attention because uh, I've just I've just spread myself too thin so having this office means that I can have someone safely come in work and um, like fulfill orders and stuff in the other room while I work and um, do stuff in here so 
Uh, I will be looking for someone new uh, to help me out soon and um, possibly a, um, a VA, a virtual assistant as well to help with the core side of the business because uh, I need it and I want to scale and I want to grow both sides of the business so I can make more cute stuff and help more uh, business owners get started in pins and like have confidence in their businesses. So yeah, I think this little space will do that for me. I don't know what the back of my hair looks like, so we'll see when I edit this. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Um, I appreciate your patience. If you made it this far, <laughs> give me like of your favorite party emoji down below so we can celebrate the sun. Yay! Oh, okay. All right, bye. <laughs>